our Democratic panel, Rashad Ritchie, former political director of the Georgia Democratic Party, and Johanna Masca, a Democratic strategist. Johanna, I'll start with you. Uh, you know, Beto O'Rourke, some of the criticism uh, from him right out of the gate has been that he's been light on specifics. Are you hoping that he will actually dig into some more concrete policy proposals today? Yeah, look, I was in Iowa 12 years ago at the beginning of the Obama campaign, and it's early. Right now, we've got a lot of energy for Democratic candidates, and that's exciting. Um, I mean, Beto is a great candidate. He came within 200,000 votes um, of defeating Senator Cruz, who uh, was obviously a candidate for president last time around. And so I think that people should be really um, watching this momentum that's behind him, because he obviously helped us win some congressional districts. And I think um, bringing this energy to the Democratic Party and our, our primary process is going to be uh, awesome for the Democrats' future. Rajad, what are you hoping to hear from Beto O'Rourke today? Well, I think he will be able to clarify and more define some of his policies moving forward. But let's be very clear. This is early in a presidential cycle. No one is giving you specifics. As a matter of fact, Republicans during this time, last presidential cycle, had very few specifics to offer the American people. So I think we're jumping the gun on the specifics argument. We haven't even had a Democratic come on, come on, debate Come on, yet. Rashad. Uh, Leland here. Uh, Elizabeth Warren's got specifics on almost everything that she's laid out. She goes on tweet rants with exactly how she's going to pay for child care. Uh, proposals and child care for all. She talks at length about Medicare for all. She talks at length about consumer financial protection. There's a lot of specifics from the Elizabeth Warren camp, among others. Yeah, the reason why you highlighted Senator Elizabeth Warren is because she's the only one doing it. As I said before, traditionally, you don't have any presidential candidates at this point in the election uh -huh. cycle actually giving you specifics on all of their policy platforms. All right, fair, fair enough. Uh, John, uh, you were with President Obama in Iowa in the beginning as we continue to look at Better O'Rourke's rally. Uh, people continue to draw parallels, and a lot of uh, Obama's original fundraising crew uh, have begun to coalesce around Better O'Rourke, and they feel there's the same energy. They feel there's a lot of synergy uh, in terms of the Obama coalition that he brought together and what O'Rourke did in Texas against Ted Cruz and what he can do for the country. Uh, give us a compare and contrast, if you would. Yeah, so, you know, I, I think there's a lot of uh, candidates that are bringing similar energy from different parts of the country. We're really um, lucky to have so many different people from so many different backgrounds running for office this time around. So I don't think it's just Beto. But I actually think Rashad is right. You know, a lot of the early uh, attention is really exciting. And then what happens in, in uh, houses and living rooms in Iowa is that people start looking at the candidates candidate's character. And they start making an assessment of whether that person shares a similar background as them and whether they, they, when faced with all the different information that they would have as president, would make the best decision in their interest. And I think that's what we're going to see is people really connect in those early states. And, and I think that this right now, if I had to go back in time and remember where we were at 12 years ago, we were not connecting. We did not have, you know, everything together. And we needed that. That test. The number of candidates in this election is a good thing for Democrats. All right. Well, right now, according to the latest polls, Better work polling in about third just behind uh, Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders. Mm -hmm. So I know it's early, uh, but he seems to be uh, definitely far towards frontrunner status right now. Look at that Thank crowd. you so much for coming on, Rashad and Joanna.